good morning. It's a glorious morning. Our faithful God has made this day be. I'm glad to be speaking this morning to you all. To you this morning, glory be to the Lord. Shortly, let's talk to God in prayer. Not unto us, O God, but unto you be given praise and honor. Thank you, Father, for the life you gave. Your faithfulness, your protection, your mercies, and your guidance. The Lord will say in your name, be praised forevermore. Thank you for disappointing the vices of the earth. Lord, even as we hear this word, bless this word in our hearts. In Jesus' name, Amen. This morning, quickly, we'll be looking at a topic titled One More Time. Looking at a topic, One More Time. Our text is taken from John chapter 21, 1 to 6. While we'll be reading verse 6 of that particular place of uh, that chapter 21, John chapter 21, verse 6. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. And they cast it off, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fish. One more time. This wasn't the first time Jesus performed this miracle. When he first called his disciples to follow him, he did the same thing. They had been fishing all night and had no fish. There was no logical reason why casting the nets one more time on either side of the boat would make any difference. But in obedience, they did it anyway. On both occasions, they caught multitude of fish. There are many parallels between the miraculous catch of fish and our lives. Most people basically do the same thing. They try to be productive and raise good family. But there is a world of difference between doing it in our own strength and doing it in the word of the Lord. This disciple, they were in the same place using the same nets. But the difference was the injection, interjection of God's word mixed with their faith in it and obedience to it. The difference between acting on God's word and doing our own isn't in the action itself, but in our act attitude. I come again. The difference between acting on God's word and doing our own thing is in the action itself, but in our art attitude. Today, you have been trying all you could. You have tried all your intellectual sarcasm, your intellectual ability have been put to pace and action, and yet results are not coming out. You are just like the disciple who did all they know. An expert in the field does not change the fact that we need God. You may have 50 years experience in what you do. Without God in it, your experience is useless. You may be a physician, a great motivational speaker, an ideologist, a well-formed and organized organizer, without God word miss in it, you may continuously fail in that field. What makes you successful is the word of God that is missed with obedience and faith. You might have tried all you could, all the means, all the avenue to make sure you attain this level. 
not as in walking. That doesn't mean God hates you. That doesn't mean God rejects you. That doesn't mean God is against you. No. Just listen. It is only when you listen you can come to the reality of His word. You have done everything you know to do with that results you desire. Then you have stepped out in obedience to God's word. What does the Lord have to say to you about your situation? Find out. Then obey it and expect a miraculous result today. And you will be glad you did. It's our, let us say, a word of prayer. Faithful God, I wanted to say this prayer before me. Faithful God, I know you died and you perfected death. You gave me victory over death by your perfection. Lord, I have been doing my, I have been doing my best. I have been trying to put things in my way. And it seems not working. But today, I am surrendering all to you. Let your will be the manifest of my daily existence. Let your will become my will. Let your will surpass my will. And make your will to become the path that I walk with. Because this time, I know you will do it for me. Lord, this is my prayer this morning. I pray you receive and show me mercy. If you are afraid this prayer, may the good God hearken to your prayers. May the good God listen and open the paths that which you need to go. By the grace of God, I remember humble self to show Satan by his grace. Join me tomorrow for another exhortation. Please follow me on my YouTube channel on Joshua Sato. And by His grace, see you tomorrow. By His grace, stay blessed and stay safe in Christ Jesus.